Coca-Cola was criticized for polluting fresh water, groundwater, and soil. Farmers are suffering from water scarcity in India, and their harvests and animals are threatened as well. Wells are run dry, and contaminants make well water unsafe for villagers to drink from when in close proximity to the Coca-Cola plants, as well as when using water for agricultural purposes. These negative effects towards the environment have been recognized since 2007, and recently the government of India has begun to address this critical issue by urging consumers to boycott the product. This issue is raised by activists all across the world in areas such as Europe, the USA, and various African countries. The activity of the Coca-Cola company has caused or contributed a great deal to these problems. The availability of good quality water for drinking purposes and agriculture has been affected dangerously due to the activity of the company. Apart from that, the company had also polluted the agricultural lands by depositing the hazardous wastes. All these points to the gross violation of the basic human rights, that is the right to life, right to livelihood, and the violation of the pollution control laws, says KillerCoke.org. The government of India has taken action in addressing the importance of purchasing locally, and therefore many shops have stopped selling Coca-Cola products. Overall, the sales in India have begun to decrease. Previously, the company had worked with the WWF, but has now purchased, and thus claimed, the select area of fresh water. This eradicates the very idea of sustainable prosperity. In addition, KillerCoke.org has tried to stop this from happening, by raising awareness through the highly influential platform that is the internet. Many activist groups across the world have addressed the known and unknown negative effects of Coca-Cola on one's health and also on the environmental effects associated with the company's manufacturing processes. It is frequently mentioned by these activist groups that Coca-Cola is drinking the world dry. The company has dealt with many controversial complaints across the boards and has thus received many critiques on their ethical approach to manufacturing and selling as well. One piece of literature by Bartow J. Elmore called Citizen Coke, The Making of Coca-Cola Capitalism deals with many of the ethical versus non-ethical approaches of the company, including the way they benefited from cheap goods purchased locally, such as easier and cheaper access to water, in developing countries primarily. It entails the company's disregard for common good and rather its desire for economic growth through capitalism. India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, has begun to highlight the importance of purchasing locally by calling it Make in India. Over 1 million shops have stopped selling Coca-Cola and Pepsi products. The 4.9 billion soda market industry is 96% made up of these two companies. India's sales volume growth, the sale in carbonated drinks, has decreased from 12%, yet still surpasses the global sales volume growth from 2012 to 2017 which has then been between 0% and just over 1%, and is expected by 2021 to rise to approximately 1.5%.